Hello again and welcome to Step by Step by Miriam. This video is a response to a question asked by me, Neil in my video Calculate Exam Grades in Excel. So if you want to see the full question asked by the viewer Neil then have a look at my Calculate Exam Grades in Excel video on Step by Step by Miriam. Neil's question was he has a list of values. Neil would like to remove the lowest value and then get an average of the remaining values that are left. The, you could do this in a number of formulas, but to execute it in one formula, this is the, the option that I have come up with for Neil's answer. So here is the list of values. So in cell from cell A1 right down to cell A4 are a list of values. In this cell, I now will put in the formula asking Excel to identify the minimum value, then subtract it from the remaining values and then get an average of the remaining values that are left. So here's the formula. Equals, open brackets, SUM, open brackets, A1, full colon to A4. Close brackets. Then minus, again we open brackets, to minimum file minimum formula and again open brackets a1 full colon to a4 close brackets it's very important when you're working with excel formulas that you will pair up your brackets so that excel can make sense of the formula and if you have a look above we're missing two closing brackets so we'll put those in now so we must pair up all our brackets so another closing bracket and another closing bracket and then divide the answer by 3. Now before I press my enter key to get a result, why are we dividing the answer by 3? Well, in this case, we have asked Excel, <coughs> excuse me, we have asked Excel to sum the four cells, then subtract the minimum cell, that leaves only 3 left. So we divide by the remaining number of cells that we have left and we press the enter key to get the result. So this is the answer to the question that Neil asked. Again, let me just repeat that. Before we do, let's take a look at the formula bar. The formula says equals open bracket sum. Why did we open the bracket at this point? One of the reasons that we opened the bracket at this point was before we needed the dividing sign, the forward slash we have to put the, the previous two formulas, the sum and the min, into one formula, if you like, before we could present it with the dividing sign. And this is the way that Excel will treat the operators. There is a hierarchy in Excel when you're working with formulas. And at some stage, I will do a video on the hierarchy of formulas and how they can affect your formulas in Excel. But just remember that if you wanted something calculated before something else, put it all into brackets. This way, Excel has got to calculate what's encompassed within the brackets first. And this is why this will work for you. Okay, let's try it again. So now I'm going into cell F8. And here again, we've got a list of values. We want Excel to identify the minimum value, then subtract it by the remaining cells above and divide it by one less cell. In other words, once the minimum one is gone, we want to divide it by that number of cells. So again, let's try the formula. It equals open bracket SUM open bracket and this time it's F1 full colon and it's down to F7. Close brackets minus op and again minus open brackets the minimum open brackets again from F1 full colon to F7 close brackets. Now remember again we must pair up the brackets. It's very important that we pair the bracket before the word sum and before the word min because they don't have any pairs left yet. So close that one, close that one. Now this time we're going to divide by six because there's seven cells occupied. The minimum must be taken out so now we divide by one less which is six and this should give us the average of the remaining cells once we have identified the minimum and taken it away and left the remaining six cells to be identified. 
and that gives us 27. Neil, what I would say and what I would uh, exercise caution on, when Excel is identifying a, a minimum cell, for example, the minimum cell here would be 22. Well, if you had a number of cells with 22, then Excel is not going to identify all of those. It's only going to identify one occurrence because really the minimum formula says, what is the minimum? So Excel goes, well, here's the minimum. So really it only gives you one occurrence. So if you had three or four cells, then you'd have to basically remove those amount from before you would use your divider at the very end. In other words, if you had two cells there, then you would say divided by five rather than the six cells, you know, to take away the two. If you have any questions on this, Neil, um, I'd be happy to try and answer them for you. Otherwise, I hope this has helped you and I hope it will give you a workaround. Otherwise, you can just do separate formulas. It's a bit of a pain, I know, but this one might work for you. So thank you for your question and I appreciate it. And to look forward to using Excel, if you look forward to using Excel, then have a look at my step-by-step -step videos. They're on YouTube called Step-by-Step -by, -step by Miriam. Thank you.